My story, I think, I think it begins mostly um, in the mid 90s, although I wasn't born then. The interesting part happened then when um, I was in a band called uh, Chasing Furies and um, we were signed to a label. We attempted to make a record uh, of the music that we were influenced by at that moment and um, I never listened to Christian music growing up, although my father was a worship leader my whole life. We listened to worship music, but never Christian music. I didn't even really know what it was or who any of the bands were. But um, we made a record on Sparrow that um, was actually a big flop. And I mean, financially and as far as touring went, it was crazy. You know, we would go on tour with people like Jars of Clay, and there were um, schools or venues that didn't even want to have me come into their venue because um, I was pierced or tattooed or whatever and uh, and so Jars of Clay actually would tell, I remember one time they said we're not coming either and we told them go ahead and go because you know the kids don't know. I, I would say this was, it was a pretty dark time in my life to be thinking I'm working with other people that are like-minded as me as far as being Christians creating music that I thought was unique and something fresh during that time in Christian music and yet we were very widely rejected is what it felt like at that time. We decided to leave uh, Sparrow and my husband and I and uh, go out to California where he grew up and I thought that I was going to have to um, do mainstream music, non-Christian music. Um, but what's interesting is I started leading worship at a church out there and the songs that I wrote became even more Christian than even my Chasing Furies lyrics were. And so there was definitely no way that I was going to be making a mainstream record with some very, very uh, obviously Christian lyrics. And so I just focused in on um, kind of like feeding myself again, I think spiritually and being surrounded by some, a big group of uh, Christians that were um, encouraging me and um, what I was doing. So I didn't quite feel so isolated from the Christian music scene in California and I just started writing again and the songs you know it's interesting because I'm this kind of songwriter that I write from my own experience it's impossible for me to really write from any place other than um, from my own experience and so I, there's like this cluster of songs that nobody should ever hear because they're so depressing and dark and no benefit to anybody except for myself and just getting them out but um, I started getting this new wave of songs and they were so uh, worship filled and um, I've had people tell me a lot of times that the songs that I started writing were just pure worship songs but then if you listen to the instrumentation and the stuff that is put along those worship songs it doesn't sound like typical worship music I started doing that and just started getting encouraged by traveling around and a lot of times leading worship but then also doing these new songs and um, decided to record a CD and uh, I had been um, friends, I have, am friends with a girl named Vicki Beeching and she had come to my house with my husband and I and um, she was embarking on recording a new CD and it worked out that she and I co-wrote a, a few of her songs on her record together. My husband ended up producing her newest record. And um, it was so good to be able to sit with her and listen to her talking about her label, which is Integrity, and um, be able to communicate with them. They were flying out to our house and um, be able to hear their heart for worship music and then also be able to see that there is a creative outlet even in worship music. It can be different. Because one of the big things that I always think is important is that um, I want the music to be saying the exact same thing as the lyrics say. When my voice and my um, words are saying something loud or um, a crying out to the Lord, I want the music to be saying the same thing. And so um, I recorded my CD um, and 
ended up signing with Integrity and excited about getting those songs out there and just to see them now bouncing back off the faces of the people who are hearing them.